In this video, we're gonna show you how to create a target in NetBees in versions 11.0 and newer. And if you want a deeper dive into each particular target, we have several videos on each version. With that said, let's get started. So we're gonna to go to the Targets tab, and then we're gonna click Add Target. You'll be met with three options, SAS Targets, Target Templates, and Custom Target. SAS Targets are very simple. We, these are already pre-configured, pre-defined by NetBees. All you have to do is select one of them or multiple of them. Uh, so we have Google, Microsoft, some CRMs, 8x8, 5x9. So we'll just select Google Docs, click Next, assign it to whatever agents or groups you want, and then you click Save, and you're done. And since we have redesigned the new target creation section, we have added and will continue to add new templates in the future. If you want to actually define your targets, you can try target templates, where you'll actually put the FQDN or the web, or the web URL, you'll name it, you can configure um, a ping test, also Jitter and Moss if it's a voice or video application. You can configure specific DNS tests with specific DNS servers. You can configure a VPN test. You'll put like the internal IP here, or in this case, the gateway test. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna keep it at five seconds. We're going to configure it to every group and hit save, and we're done. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna take a quick look at custom targets. Here, you'll put in what you'll want to name it, so we'll call it Google 2, click Next, and then we'll enter the FQDN, and this is where you can configure each particular test. As mentioned earlier, we have a video going into each one of these to explain all your options, but this is where you're going to configure your intervals and your timeouts, and that is how you make targets with NetBees. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at success at netbees.net.